In this video, I'm going to show you another way to use Voice Monkey with your Sharp tools. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to use voice monkey with sharp tools. And all you have to do is drop in a little bit of code into sharp tools, and then you can type in words exactly what you want to announce on your echo devices. All right. So the first step is to go to the voice monkey io website you can either do this on a phone or on your computer i'm just doing it on the computer it's a little bit easier to do the video you would go to the manage monkey section here and then tap add monkey and then you would just type in the name of your echo device so we're just going to say echo office and then we're going to tap add monkey all right and there you can see our monkey has been added so the next thing we need to do is just go over to the exa app and go to the more tab at the bottom and then we're gonna to go to routines. All right, now once in your routines, just tap the plus sign at the top, and then we're just going to enter a routine name, and I'm just gonna call this Echo Office. Tap the next button at the top, and then when this happens, and we're gonna to go to Smart Home, and then we're gonna choose our Echo Office device that we just added. Go ahead and save that, and then the action, tap the plus sign, and then here you're gonna to want to choose skills your skills and then choose your voice monkey routine trigger and then tap next at the bottom it's going to ask for the device you're just going to choose your echo office device so this is going to be the device and we're just going to choose echo office here and we're just going to tap save now our routine is now created in the exa app that is all we really need to do in the exa app and we're pretty much done here as well. So we're gonna go over to the playground section of the voice monkey. And you can see we have our echo office here. And then we also have announcement text here. So you could type something in here and then you also have some voices. So I'm actually gonna demonstrate each one of the English voices here for you guys. So we're just gonna say, all right, so I've just typed in some text there. All right, so now we can test this right on our echo office here and we're just going to choose one voice one by one so first we have nicole so then you would go down to the bottom here and just tap on trigger hello how do you like my voice we got russell hello how do you like my voice amy hello how do you like my voice emma hello how do you like my voice brian hello how do you like my voice ravina hello how do you like my voice? Not sure how to pronounce that one. Hello. How do you like my voice? Ivy. Hello. How do you like my voice? Joanna. Hello. How do you like my voice? Kendra. Hello. How do you like my voice? Kimberly. Hello. How do you like my voice? Hello. How do you like my voice? I think that's Sally. Got Joey here. Hello. How do you like my voice? We got Justin. That's me. Hello. How do you like my voice? That was me when I was younger, I guess. Matthew? Hello. How do you like my voice? Hello. How do you like my voice? Not sure how to pronounce that one there. And then actually, those, the other ones are actually different languages. Let me choose Russian. Hello. How do you like my voice? Yeah, see, that's the default. Um, also. So obviously, that's not playing the voice um, because you're not putting in the correct language. Although, if I put in, let's try Japanese. Hello. How do you like my voice? So that one actually does the English in a Japanese accent. So that's pretty cool. So you can mess around with these, um, find the voice that you like the best. I think that I like Amy the best right here. Hello, how do you like my voice? A little bit of an accent. So that is great. So now we know um, what we're doing here and what voice we're going to be using. If you delete the announcement text and then tap off, you can see over here in the API URL that it has this part here. Then it has the access token, which is a long number and letters. And then it has the secret token. And then it has an and sign. Then it says monkey equals and then echo office because that's the name of our echo device. Then at the end, it has the voice that you have chosen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this code and we're going to modify it a little bit 
and put it into our sharp tools. So all we need to do in sharp tools is type in the text that we want and the voice that we want, and it will automatically say that on our Echo devices when we run our automations. So we're gonna go over to sharp tools now, and I've already created a test rule here. The only portion that I have um, completed is the trigger section at the top, and I just used a virtual switch at the top here. And what that is going to do is basically when I turn on the switch or turn off the switch, it's going to trigger the automation just for testing purposes. So the next thing we need to do is just go down to the flow section, tap the plus sign, and tap action. In here, we're going to tap HTTP. And last time, what we did is we used the git function and we just copied and pasted this URL from over here and we pasted it into this URL section here. The issue with that is if you have text written over here, you can see that the text has percent %20s for every single space. So that is annoying if you had to type that in over here in sharp tools in your URL. So what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna use post instead of git. And I have some code um, that you guys can copy. Now, before we do this step, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable for our secret token and our access token for voice monkey. That way, if um, they change, we can change it in one place in sharp tools, and then all of our stuff will still continue to work. So say if you have created a new voice monkey account and you had all different secret token and access token, you can change it in one place in sharp tools. And then all of your announcements are still going to work exactly as you have set up initially. We're just going to tap on variable to the right here. And this step is optional. You don't have to do this, but this is really the best way. Create a variable at the bottom a name at the top. And I'm just going to call it. So we got voice monkey ST and that's going to be our secret token. It's going to be text, so tap on text. Then we're gonna go back over to our voice monkey, go to our dashboard, and we're going to grab our secret token right here, copy this, and paste it in Sharp Tools in the value spot. And all we have to do is tap create. We're gonna do one more variable, create variable, and we're gonna call this one Voice monkey AT text, grab your access token and paste it here, and then tap create. Also, if you ever needed to reset your secret token, you can just tap this and it would change this number completely. And that's what I do after every video. Obviously, I don't want you guys making announcements on my devices. All right, so that is done here. So we're going to go ahead and close this section. And now the code that we need to copy, which I will leave in the video description, is this code right here. So this is our post URL. We're gonna copy this and paste that in to our URL section here. So essentially this is exactly from Voice Monkey beginning part. And then what we've done is we've put our access token, which is our variable in this spot, and our secret token as a variable in this spot. And then at the end, we have the and voice equals and then the, the name that you want to use here. So you can change the name to be whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to keep it as Amy for this example. Now the payload section down here, it's going to be JSON. So we're going to go back to this file here and we're going to copy this right here. And we're going to paste it in here. Um, one thing that did trip me up, if you type the quotes, let me show you real quick. If we go back over to Word, I type a quote We're using my keyboard. See how that quote has an angle on it, but the quotes in the file are straight up and down. You've got to have these straight up and down quotes. If you type it in Sharp Tools, it will automatically have those correct quotes. So if we come back over here and I type a quote, you can see it's straight up and down. Um, but if you do it in any other software that's not used to getting code, it's not going to be the right quote. So make sure that is correct. All right. So what's happening down here is we're just defining our echo device, which is our monkey. So we have echo dash office, and then we have announcement in parentheses, and we have say anything here. 
So in the say anything here, this is where we can just type whatever we want our Echo devices to say. All right, so I have typed in some text. Hello, I hope you are enjoying this video. Please be sure to like it if you are. All right, so all we have to do is now save this rule here and save it here. All right, so now if we go over to our smart things and go to device tab at the bottom, tap on the home at the top and tap on all devices. This will just put them in list format. Right here at the top, you can see we have our sharp tools run, which is the trigger for this automation here. So we're just going to tap that. Hello, I hope you are enjoying this video. Please be sure to like it if you are. So there you can see it played our announcement. There is no announcement sound and it's in the Amy voice is what we chose. So as you can see, this is a much easier way if you were going to have um, a bunch of text stuff. What I would recommend, you know, if you're going to be building the rules on your phone, all you would have to do is copy this, um, this path here. And once you have that path, it's going to be the same for every single rule because this stuff is going to be dynamically updated. And then the only thing you would have to do down here is change the device. So if I wanted to announce it on another device, I could just copy this whole thing so if I wanted to do multiple devices, I would just tap the plus sign, action, HTTP, and then I can just come up here, grab this, paste it here, and then grab this, paste it here, and then you would just change your device name, and it would say either the same thing, or you could have it say something different. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read and respond to every single comment. Also, check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.